The following video may not be suitable for children 13 and under. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey everyone, Inu Tabi here with a G.I. Joe versus Action Force comparison of Sergeant Slaughter. I want to do this video to compare the packaging, the accessories, the figure, everything, some personal thoughts. Uh, either way, either figure you have, I think they're both good figures. Uh, you just need to take it for what you want. Uh, you want both? It's good to have both. Uh, so this is basically just going to break down uh, some thoughts and some looks at all the different equipment and stuff they come with. Uh, if you have not, please go there and hit that subscribe button. You'll help out the channel. I'm trying to get to 2000 for the end of the year. I uh, have memberships available. We have super thanks available. All that good stuff if you're interested in helping the channel. Also, check out the other Rejecticons. It's Kato's Collection, Larkin's Lair, and Sardo Noom Spa 82. All right, so here are the figures real quick. We're going to get those out of the way and then proceed with the packaging. So, move the Sarge and the Sarge off to the side. So, First, we have a closed package versus open package with plastic and everything like that. I think they're both fine. Uh, the G.I. Joe Hasbro version has uh, different artwork here on the front. We've got you know stuff from the cartoons, stuff from the comics, uh, actual figure. We've got the number, the accessory count on the back. All that good stuff, artwork on the side. Uh, the biggest negative for, for me is the closed packaging. I, I'm not a fan of the closed packaging. Uh, if you like it, that's fine. But I, I still prefer being able to see the figures. It isn't so bad if you're buying it from like, you know, Amazon or from Hasbro or something like that. So it ends up being okay, but uh, you never know. In store, not so much. Valiverse does this type of packaging here. It still has the clear window uh, where all the accessories plug into like slots inside they also include a plastic sheet that goes over the figure for protection um got the valiverse logo here on the top with action force got some artwork here on the side sergeant slaughter and then on the back we have the one thing that uh, really makes it for me is the file card really this is the sort of thing that should be on the back of all gi joe going forward we also got some figures from the line and a barcode and action points so some very, you know, similar things and some things that hark back to the old days and some things that I wish were kind of staying the same. But uh, let me know in the comments, which one do you prefer? I, I like this packaging. Uh, I wish they had not gotten away from it. I understand why they're doing it and what they say while they're doing it, but really not the packaging I like. So let's take a look at the, the accessories that I started out with. Um, one, uh, action force comes with a stand right here. You've got multiple peg ports, nice sturdy plastic. GI Joe, uh, Hasbro does not come with that. I really like this. The figures plug in easy. Mandatory stand should be with all figures going forward. They do it on the retro line for GI Joe Hasbro, but they do not do it on the classified line, which I don't really understand. It's just a fairly simple piece of plastic, so. Hands. So, Valiverse comes with an assortment of hands. It's close on the, uh, the Sergeant Slaughter from Hasbro side. So, we've got fists here, Valiverse. We've got an open hand. We've got kind of a cupping hand here. A gripping, holding the weapon hand. We've got a pointing finger hand. And another fist hand. So, uh, I think that leaves, I mean, seven, eight, nine total hands here for action force. And there are, including the ones that are on the figure, uh, eight on the Hasbro. So one extra, and I think it's because of the, the pointing hand here. So we've got kind of the, I like this one right here, this kind of gripping and that looks good. You can use that for multiple functions. Uh, that's the one thing that really stands out for me. We've got 
open hand. We've got two pointing fingers here with Hasbro, where you only had uh, the one over there uh, with Action Force. So, all right, then we come with caps. So, Action Force, he comes with actually uh, two caps. The Sarge comes with this one and this one. We've got uh, two different shades, a little bit more olive, a little bit more green. We've got the band here, but no insignia on either one. You can see the difference in the shades. So that's Action Force. G.I. Joe comes with this one here. Uh, brown with the band with the Sergeant Insignia on. Uh, this is a little bit more flexible. This is like a harder plastic. There's the difference between the two. A lot softer. Uh, very sturdy. No, no give there. But I kind of like this one a little bit better. Then we're going to get into weapons. Um, so I'm going to do a quick comparison of some of the stuff he comes with here. And let's just undo it at a time. Action Force comes with like basically two weapons. So he's got a revolver here. Uh, it looks really nice. It's painted well, black and silver. I guess it's supposed to be like a 45 or something. And then we've got the, the grenade launcher. Uh, I think this, the barrel rotates. Does the barrel come out? I thought it did, but it rotates anyway. It looks good. It's got the adjustable stock. It doesn't really adjust, but uh, it's got ported barrel, everything like that. So two weapons there on Action Force. Uh, Sergeant Slaughter from Hasbro comes with one. And it's a little bit strange. He comes with an AK-47. Uh, the magazine is removable. That's cool. Um, I don't know. I sort of think this is almost a nod to Heartbreak Ridge because if you remember there, Gunnery Sergeant uh, had an AK. So I don't know if that's what it is, but I don't remember Sergeant ever using AK. Maybe he did in the comics or something. And that's what it's a nod to. You know, now that I look at, there's an AK right there. So <laughs> I guess he did. But uh, it's still cool. One thing that the Hasbro version comes with is pretty unique. It comes with a little action figure with G.I. Joe. That's I really like this. I don't know if I'll ever use it. You can remove it, take the figure out. But it's pretty cool. They made it so small. It almost reminds me of those like Disney mini brand things you see on the shelves. So this is a neat little piece. Uh, the Sergeant. Let's see what else we've got here. Accessory wise. Uh, we, oh, one comparison we can do here is the sunshades or sunglasses. So Action Force here is kind of a gold with black. Uh, they're both very flexible. Uh, it seems like the Action Force is a little bit more. The Hasbro one is painted silver with black or brown rims. There, so you can see those two side by side. I don't really have him wear these because this is a little, little bit more flimsy. Doesn't quite stay on. Neither one stays on perfect. And they don't have like hole attachments or anything like that. Uh, so they just kind of fit on there. Sergeant Slaughter from Hasbro comes with a swagger stick. So you can hear that. That's very nice. And then that, that I think is basically it for accessories. So now we're going to take a look at the figure side by side and just put those down here. So there is a definite size factor difference. Hasbro is uh, a little bit taller and, and quite a lot bigger than the Valiverse version. Uh, this is more in tune with the cartoon and the comic and stuff. The black, you know, sweatshirt, pants, uh, web belt, all that stuff. But Sarge here, Hasbro is a lot larger. If you do side by side, this seems to be an older version of Sarge. Maybe he's uh, 10, 15 years older. Uh, but still, I think it looks good. Uh, the pants and the gear is all nicely detailed. The web gear is very nicely detailed. You can remove it and all that if you want to. Uh, probably the biggest negative here is like the back of the head it does kind of stand out with that ball joint. But uh, articulation on both of these guys is, is, is super similar. I mean, you're not seeing anything that really just blows your mind, you know, one way or the other. Very tight joints on both. You can put them side by side here. And you can see... The size difference when you compare the waist, right? So if you put the legs right there, 
uh, the bottom of his action force legs come to about the thigh cut on the Hasbro ones. So uh, you can see that difference there. The pants and all that on the action force are really nicely detailed though, a little bit more uh, detailed than, you know, Hasbro right there. Here's the bottom of the boots. Hasbro is kind of plain. Uh, Action Force looks like actual boots. It's got nice gears for holding his gun. None of that on Hasbro. Like I said, you can remove all this. Uh, with not, you know, having sleeves, I, you know, it's the kind of thing with the figures where the arm joints are easily exposed. I, I don't think they look good. You got pins here on Hasbro. You got pinless on Action Force. Uh, that does look better if you're looking at it side by side. The muscular look, uh, pieces here on the arms, a band here on the, the wrist, that looks good. Uh, the size is just really, really, really big. I mean, you can look at it. He's back him up. Oh, also a whistle here on Hasbro. I forgot to mention that. Let's back him up back to back, and you see that much of a difference. So. Both of them are super, super tight. No looseness in either one of them. Uh, I'll be honest with you, the Action Force feels a little bit more solid than the Hasbro. Hasbro feels a little lighter up on this side. There's a lot of weight in the bottom end of this guy. Uh, don't know if that necessarily translates to better construction, but it definitely, you can feel a weight and size difference. So let me know in the comments, what do you think here? And we just, you know, this is not, you know, I'm not making a choice. There's some things I like about both versions. I think, you know, having them, the, you know, the face sculpts look really good in either one. You know, this face sculpt really reminds me of like Sarge and like, you know, Attitude Era with Sean and Triple H. This one is like really young uh, Sarge, like early years. Uh, and that's what I think. So let me know in the video, what do you think in the comments below? Uh, are you picking up both? Do you have both? What do you think? I like both lines, so it's not a, oh, this line sucks, this line's great. Not one of those. I just wanted to put them side by side to, for people to see. Uh, probably the biggest takeaway is just the difference in size between the two. Like the arm size is, is dramatically different. I mean, it's a, he's a big, big guy. But that's the way he's portrayed in the cartoon. He's, he hulks over everybody, so. All right, well, that has been a quick comparison. We're not going to go into articulation. It's so similar. There's not a, either way, you know, I don't think there's anything that really, maybe there's a, a little bit of a more, you know, different joints on one than the other. I'm not really in that. I just wanted to show the difference between the accessories and all the different things each figure comes with. So that's basically what it is. Thank you for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. Like I said, go down and hit that subscribe if you're interested. Uh, Thanks for checking out the channel and stay tuned for more content. Thanks for watching, guys. I really do appreciate it.